try, man. Big jump. With just about everyone feeling cooped up these days, higher, 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 higher. the thoughts of summer and hopefully getting outside into it seem mighty appealing. Summertime is finally here. It's amazing. I like the vibe. I like it a lot. I heard that it was really fun, and it is really fun. Once we're given the green light to venture back outside again, one place that's almost sure to be popping is Kerrigan Farms. And just like a long lost friend, you ain't seen it a while. Can't help but smile. We just love the outdoor atmosphere. I thought it was gonna be like some dingy pond. <laughs> it's nothing like I've ever done before. But it's actually really fun. Well, I'm a big kid, so it's, it fits me well. <laughs> the quarry at the farms has grown to become one of the area's most popular summertime attractions as visitors jump off rocks of varying heights into the cool water below. Summertime. We love that we can come and do a kind of old school activity with the kids. And temperature says 93 down at the deposit and guarantee with that swimming hole. It's nice and cold. The top attraction? Well, that's an easy one. The swing. The swing. The rope swing. The swing because people have belly flop off of it. There you go. With oohs and ahs from the crowd below, some rope swingers make tricks like backflips look easy. While for others, simply holding on is a bit challenging. I think it's because it's so high. It's like so high up in the sky, so like you feel like it's so scary, but like when you're jumping off, you just get like this rush of adrenaline. But it's like fun because you're like falling and you're like, when is it gonna end? And then it ends and it's so much fun because you just it over and over again. If jumping off the rope swing or rocks isn't your thing, or you just want to get a break from it, there's plenty of other things going on, from hanging out in the water on floaties, to playing a game of volleyball, doing a little sunbathing, or chilling in a hammock. The rocks, the trees, the grass, the sky, it's all natural, and it's just, uh, people want the real deal. You know, we're raising our kids in, in such a different world that's pressuring them to, you know, video games and movies, and it's so refreshing to come out and just spend time outside. Located in Mooresville, Kerrigan Farms attracts visitors from not only the Charlotte area, but also from northern parts of the state, like Winston-Salem and Greensboro. So what that does is it provides us with a wonderful customer base. I actually think it's absolutely gorgeous and the more people that know about it to enjoy it is well worth the time. It's incredible. Turns out before the quarry opened in the late 80s, the Kerrigan family had been here a long time. Like a real long time. We came over here from Ireland, we're Scotch-Irish. We came over here in the 1750s, before the country was ever a country. We've been farmers and a few preachers in there ever since. We always say our roots run really deep here. Great granddaddy bought this farm in 1902, and then my granddad farmed it, my dad and myself and my son also. And so he's the, the, the fifth generation on this particular piece of dirt. Back in the day, the family sold its goods from a stand right next to the farmhouse on Highway 150. We had cotton and dairy. We were dairy farmers for a number of years. And then in the late 60s, they took a half a million tons of stone out of here to build a little highway called 77. When Interstate 77 was being built, contractors made deals with local landowners for rock to lay the foundation of the highway. We got paid a nickel a ton in the late 60s, which was then about $25,000, which was enough to buy about a 40-acre farm at the time. Some of the foundation stones for Davidson College are quarried right out of here, too. The rock blasting created a 25-foot hole crater, which the family then filled with water, brought in pumps, and used to irrigate the farm. We got about 10 million gallons of water in here. And so in the 70s, we'd come down here and go swimming and put the pig on the grill and the beer in the foot tub and bite all the rowdy friends, you know. And then in the late 80s, we said if we put on a clean shirt and mowed the grass, maybe we could charge for the same thing. So here we are. A typical summer day now brings in several hundred people, each paying 15 to 20 bucks a pop to enter. It's all helped keep this old family farm viable. I call it the evolution of a farmer. We have to evolve, we have to change. And we have to evolve as the customer evolves. In recent years, a man-made waterfall was added, creating a memorable setting for swim parties, corporate outings, and weddings. We do about 80 plus weddings a year. Outside the quarry, there's still a lot going on, with rows and rows of crops, corn stalks, apple trees, squash, red peppers, tomatoes, and so on. In the fall, hay rides, pumpkin picking, and leading up to Halloween, they transformed the place into Scarrigan Farms. 
About the 15th of November, there's a beach here in Aruba with my name on it. And then after a winter break, it all starts up again. For Carolina Impact, I'm Jason Terzis reporting.